Welcome to another piano tutorial quickie. A nice little tune today that has our hands playing higher up the keyboard so that we can learn some new notes. I'll do a demo, then we'll go through the sheet music line by line. Off I go. You can see I got a bit softer and a bit slower at the end so that everybody knew that the tune was coming to an end. Feel free to do the same. Let's have a look at the first line of music. You can see that we've got the tempo marking moderately slow so we don't have to go a thousand miles an hour. We've got the treble and the bass clefs. Our time signature is 4-4 four, four, so we're counting four beats in every bar. If you scan along the music, it looks like the melody or the tune is in the right hand and our left hand has some accompanying intervals. We've got the words at the top above the melody, we've got a few curved lines and the dynamic marking MF right at the beginning of the music which indicates that we need to play the melody moderately loudly. And we'll need to bring that out above our accompaniment intervals that are playing quite happily in the background. Let's start with the right hand. You'll notice that the right hand doesn't have four beats in the bar, it only has three. They're called pickup notes. So our first note, that D with our little finger, is actually coming in on beat two, followed by the B with our third finger on beat three, and then A with our second finger on beat four. In our first full bar, we're playing G with our thumb, and that lasts for four beats because it's a semi-brief, and it's tied to the G that's in our next bar, so we don't need to play that G, but we hold it down for its full value. I'll do that little bit. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Our next note in that full second bar is back to the D with our little finger, followed by the C on the third beat, B on the fourth beat, and then in our last bar on that first line, we're playing A with our second finger and again holding it down for four beats. I'll do the whole line. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Good, let's have a look at the left hand. Nothing in the first bar. Then in the next bar, we've got G on the bottom with our little finger and D at the top with our thumb and we're playing that on beat one. In the next beat, moving up to A with our fourth finger, still playing D on the top. In our third beat, we've still got D at the top, but we're moving our bottom note to the B, and then back down to the A. And then finally in the next bar, we're finishing off back where we started, G with our little finger, and A with our thumb. So that little group of notes looks something like this. On beat one, Two, three, four, one, two, and then we've got some rests. When you're practicing this, listen out and make sure those notes are sounding together and not like that. In the last bar of the first line for our left hand, we've got A on the bottom and D on the top. Then we're moving our bottom note up to the B and then up to the C on beat three and then back to the B and the D on beat four. I'll play that little bar again. One, two, three, four. So you can see we've got some nice little patterns in our left hand. That D note really isn't moving and all we're doing is changing the bottom interval note that we're playing it with. And sometimes it can really help in music to identify patterns. It does decrease the amount of brain work that you need to do. I'll play the whole left hand in that first line. Nothing in the first little pickup bar. Then on our first full bar, we've got one, two, three, four, one, two, 
three, four. One, two, three, four. Good. Let's put that together nice and slowly. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Excellent. Let's have a look at the second line. In the right hand, we've got that A, which is tied to the A in the bar before, so we don't play it. I'll just hold it down and pretend that I've tied it out for all those beats. In the second beat, we've got A, D note with our little finger, then to the C, then to the B with our third finger, and then in the next bar, we've got A, with our second finger, we're holding that down for four beats, two, three, four, and then you can see in the next bar that A is tied to another A, in the second beat, we're going back to the D, and the B, and the A, and then finishing off with our thumb on the G for a whole count of four. And then in the final, final, ditzy tiny bar with one beat, it's tied out to a G. We've only got one crotchet in that last beat because that bar is continued in our pickup note bar. So that crotchet in our last beat plus the three crotchets in our pickup bar make up the four. I'll play the right hand again. So I've got my A tied out on beat one. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Good. Let's have a look at the left hand. Very similar patterns by the look of it. On beat one, we've got our A and our D, and then some rests for two, three, four. In the next bar, second bar, we're playing that A and D again, changing the bottom note to a B, and then a C, and then a B, and then back to the A, and then some rests, two, three, four, and then in the last full bar, we're changing our bottom note to a G, and going up to the A, the B, back to the A, and then finally down to the G and the D. I'll play that line. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Let's do the whole thing together, second line. I'll tie out my A. dots so you can quite happily go back and play the whole tune all over again and we're done